Carlos Soto. My major is molecular biochemistry. I'm a Brooklynite. I was born and raised in Brooklyn, second generation Puerto Rican. I was off from school from a little bit. I'm not the cookie cutter college student. So uh, coming out from the workforce, going into college, uh, made it a little difficult, but I kind of uh, settled in and then excelled. Um, once you get into a school that has uh, people to guide you, not just the professors, but students that care about each other, then it makes it a lot easier. And that I've never experienced anywhere else other than Medgar. At first, I did not know exactly where I wanted to go within uh, the major. So, but I knew I wanted to do something in science and in health. I uh, met several professors here and they had kind of guided me under their wing, showed me what to do, and now I know exactly what path I want to take, which is dentistry. When I was younger, I would think about science as something that's almost unapproachable, even though I enjoyed it. Um, I didn't know exactly how to get into it, and I think that's the problem with a lot of minorities, uh, Hispanic or black, that we don't know how to get into it. But once the door is open and we're in it, then we excel. Being Latino and going and meeting other people of other races that are within the sciences, uh, you can see the challenge because we are the minority in science. When I go to science conventions and, and, uh, and present the research that I've done for Megger, um, you do feel outnumbered. I grew up around a minority neighborhood of Puerto Rican and Blacks and uh, I didn't know any professionals. And now attending college, I would go home with my lab coat and the kids would run up to me and ask what exactly I do and I'd tell them that I'm studying to become a dentist and you could see them get encouraged from just witnessing somebody that looks like them and acts like them and lives with them and uh, it's a good feeling. My name is Janelle Forgini and my major is business management. My parents and my grandparents, they've been stressed in education since the day I was born. And I actually did not go to college out of high school. I actually took about five, maybe six years off before attending college. And just being out in the world and out in the workforce, I realized that it is an asset to have something like a degree on your wall or be able to say, I graduated. I went to college in Florida for a little while and then when I came back to New York, I decided that I wanted something smaller and more intimate where it was more personal and Mega Evers just seemed like the place to go because it's in the heart of New York, which is Brooklyn, and um, the classes are smaller and more intimate and it's diverse. I think if I had gone to college right out of high school, it just wouldn't be the same experience. Um, I'd have the same degree, but I wouldn't learn the same things that I've learned now. I just wanted to do it my way. I think I was being a little, uh, not hard-headed, but I just, you know, it, it, I felt like I was just doing everything that my parents or my grandparents wanted me to do, so I had to just go out and experience what I needed to experience in life. For myself and then when I was really ready to focus on college because it doesn't make sense to come if you're not going to give it your all so then when I was really ready to do what I have to do when I get here I came. Mega Evers has grown me up and what I mean by that is when I came here I would say that I was very young and thinking and small and thinking maybe and it's helped um, professional development. I've grown here. I've made relationships with people that I'm sure I would never sever. I'm so proud to say that I, I'm a mega ever student. I would never choose another school to go to. Strength to me is the ability to come back to college when all of your friends have already graduated and do what you have to do and stay focused. Strength to me is what Mega Evers has done for me today to be able to walk across that stage in June. went to Pace University. Pace University, they said, hey, look, you know, there's nothing wrong with your scores. Uh, you have a GED, that's fine too. Uh, just give us $30,000. And I looked at them like, where am I gonna get $30,000 at? I said, hey, look, maybe I should shop around and see what I can do. I checked out Megavis College because my younger brother wanted to go to Megavis College. 
Originally, I started out uh, as a biology major until one day I met the most fantastic professor and she talked some sense to me, you know, sternly. Hey, you don't need to be a, a biology major. You don't need to be a lab rat. You know, your personality doesn't, you know, curtain tail to that. You should be a public administrator. Eventually, I took that long walk at the student services office and I told them I want to change my major to public administration. I was maybe eight, if not seven, when Megavis had like a daycare center. Um, they were giving some kind of after school program and I was too young to join, so they had agreed to let me sit in the classroom while my sister took the after school program. And I've always had a respect for Megavis because of that, because they were like the Statue of Liberty in so many cases, you know, send me your tired masses, you know. Um, and Megavis just had that acceptance to it, you know, it's like, we'll take you, but we're not just anybody, we'll take you and we'll mold you and we'll make you stronger than what you think. A lot of us here at Megavis College just really don't know what kind of jewel we have because a lot of people rush off to these state universities and these major, you know, colleges, and they don't realize that you, by coming here, are molding a university for people to come after you. My father used to say to me, you know, you're coming into your own. And he's, he, he was very proud of me back then, but he would definitely be jumping for joy right about now because he would be so overwhelmed to see me just despite the odds. Life is hard, but we carry on. As far as people needing to pick a school, they need to come to Megavis College. It would be dishonorable for me not to appreciate, you know, a school like Megavis College because you become one of those pillars, you know, that help this college stand even taller than what it started out to be. And that's probably the greatest contribution you can make.